the kindness games over time. Sarah Paul, everybody, how you doing? I am doing great. How are you today, Tim? Where are you? Tell everyone where you are. Uh, you know what? I'm in um, I'm in Dubai. Isn't that cool. interesting? Super interesting. Seems like the world might be moving back in a normal direction. A new normal. A new normal. Hopefully more like the old normal. I, I kind of like that. <laughs> But that's a topic for another discussion. Sarah, are you are you joining the kindness games? I'm joining the kindness games. Well, how did we get grace with your presence? I wonder. Lee dropped a major bomb on the as a CSO center yeah. meeting, introducing the kindness games. And wow, what an awesome idea. We all need more oxytocin and love and compassion in this world and I just love the drive for empathy because really kind of lacking a lot of that in our world today we are and you know I'm glad that Lee did a good job with that you know he's he's a good friend of mine although we've never met in real life we've been COVID friends which is kind of interesting um but uh no by all accounts he knocked that out of the park and uh did a really great job so thank you Lee being awesome. Keep it going. <laughs> so you're going to do a 30 post journey, huh? I am. And I'm probably going to do one a week okay. um, rather than one a day, <laughs> only because, yeah. you know, it's good to, to let each one really gestate, think through. Um, let it marinate, let it sink in. Yeah, really. What is the real gratitude for this particular person or team? And I'm excited about that because there's just so many people I want to appreciate and give kudos to and thank for everything that they do. Nice. Um, what, what personally motivates you to jump into this 30 post journey? I mean, thinking that's a great idea is one thing and that's awesome, by the way, thank you. But what made you want to uh, jump in? Well, I think that you need to make these things tangible. I mean, when you, and I should say, you know, Kindness, kindness is a wonderful idea executed. It comes through more like gratitude in a way to me. Yep. You know, I'm, I'm putting that out there because I'm not just trying to be kind to you. I'm really thanking you for what you've done and letting you know that recognizing you publicly is important to me, important to me. And it's important for the community of whatever that community is to really know that this is important. This makes a difference in people's lives, whatever that thing might be. It is. And that's true. Uh, we always say at the kindness games that kindness actually springs out of gratitude because if you can't be thankful for something, there's no ability for you to be kind. And so the way to start infusing kindness in your life is to start taking account for what things are going well. Like, who can you be thankful for? What has somebody done for you? Even if you're in bad circumstances, COVID, like what good things have come out of that? Um, and, and by recognizing these small things, uh, more often than just at U.S. Thanksgiving, um, we really start to shift our mindset and, and focus on the potential for how people can really uplift the world around them, which is what we're doing here. Yeah, and I, I think that's a really great point because one thing that people get sort of hung up on, I think, is can I feel both exhausted and tired and frustrated and sad or angry and also feel grateful and sort of happy about certain things? Like, can I hold these things together at the same time? And you absolutely can. And it really, I think the more we are at peace with that idea, the less conflict we feel when we're experiencing that. So I can, so for example, with COVID, some people might have felt a lot of anxiety around the disease and may still feel a lot of anxiety around the disease, but also felt grateful simultaneously that their job enabled them to work remotely. Right. And so, you know, you, 
sometimes we feel guilty, like I feel bad that I'm able to be in this position, but guilt also implies empathy, by the way. You know, guilt also says I care about other people. I and maybe I care about how I've impacted other people in certain cases, but in this particular case, it might just be, wow, I know I'm really fortunate. Yeah. And know, I can feel grateful. Yeah. And and that's a really good point, right? Because sometimes we do. Um feel guilty when we feel like we have it better than other people. But actually, that's an opportunity. Uh, it's an opportunity to realize there are people that I can use whatever my ability is, whatever my situation is, I can use that to uplift other people, to help other people out because you have that unique scenario position, whatever it is. And, and that's a choice that we can make instead of feeling guilty because of what others may not have. Why don't you supply it to them? I love that. Absolutely true. And that's really the core of, you know, I suppose my true north um, is the idea of by helping others succeed, be more free, have more equity in the world. It helps all of us, including myself. I mean, we, by lifting others up, you lift yourself up too. I mean, it just yep. makes a better world for us all. That's true. Okay. All right. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? You know what? I'm going to go first. Um, I'll try to keep this not too long-winded here. But, you know, I think that it's really easy, especially when we live in a world of social media, right? where we kind of present this curated view to the world. You know, this is me being successful or this is me um, achieving something or going on vacation, right? Whatever yep. you, you're, you're curating at the time. And it, it's also easy for other people to look at, into that and see like, oh, this person just, everything comes to them. Like they're just trucking along. How do they do it? You know, that kind of thing. But at the reality is we all need people to support us and root us on. And, you know, this is where mentorship is so critical and so important. For some people, that person might be a mentor. It could be a high school teacher that encouraged you back in the day. It could be an athletic coach, an advisor or friend or someone in the community or church. And I have people like that, you know, who have been in my life. But I really have to shout out my partner in life, uh, Mark Hutchinson. He's a creative, uh, he's a film, director, um, film editor, and he's just such an important figure in my life. He's an incredible partner and friend, and he's a comedian. I mean, he's just someone who brings a constant stream of laughter and humor into my life. And I'm kind of intense person so you know i need that i it's a levity a, yeah it's that lightness of, of of just being in the world that's so important so he's he's um from england i don't know if it's his british sense of humor he's from north yorkshire he's a really creative person you know he has that artistic sensibility as a film editor he really is kind of an amateur anthropologist and i'm a medical anthropologist by training so he just has this empathy and interest in other people. But I, I do want to just point out that laughter is, you know, I know there's a lot of cliches about it, but legit, it reduces stress. It increases your tolerance for pain, as you probably know, Tim, from your own experience yep. and the work yep. you've done. It supports your immune system. Like it really keeps you in a better place and we have to find space for that and surround ourselves with people who bring that to us maybe um and the last couple of years haven't exactly been fun okay right. i mean i started working on an mba part-time um that was pretty exhausting and then i had to put it on hold because then i was managing um the covid 19 pandemic with my institution and i had other people helping me with that of course but i was one of kind of the co-coordinators on this and then i took a new job that was punishing 12 hour days and all through it he's just been the steady support making me laugh looking at the bright side so i just want to sort of shout out that he's just a kind person as well so kindness optimism and humor just are things that 
you know, qualities that when I was 20, I don't know if I valued as much as I value today. And I've really found that those are top of the list. Yeah. The kinds of qualities you want to be surrounded by. So shout out to Mark Hutchinson. Can't kick this off without thanking you for the just endless reams of support I've gotten in, a, in a, basically as long as I've known the guy. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Hashtag kindness games. The kindness the games. The kindness games. <laughs> and I am going to shout out the amazing Maria Garcia. Uh, Maria is just such a cool person. You know, I, I met her in an odd way. We were, my team was looking at uh, kind of hiring our, our first person to, to really like get us organized and move the administrative and logistical processes forward. And, and we were looking, you know, to hire somebody who didn't need to actually be in the security industry, somebody who's going to be driven, who is going to be super engaged. And um, she had just happened to reach out to me on LinkedIn randomly. And, and she was like, Hey, you know, I see your profile and like, I have a question for you. And so I connected with her and I said, why don't we meet up? And so we meet up and uh, I was actually working. So I brought my buddy and uh, I said, let's go, let's go talk to this lady. And uh, what was supposed to be like a 30 minute conversation at a coffee shop turned into like a 90 minute brainstorming session. Um, nice. we like put her through the interview paces, uh, like the interview process, like that we are trying to flesh out to really figure out, like, how do we identify the person that's going to thrive in this role? And, uh, she was such a good sport. She was really interested in understanding what it was like to work in tech. Uh, she jumped into this process. Um, and, and af afterwards she's like, you guys are awesome. This does not sound like what I want to do. Um, but she took that drive and within a couple months she had a role um at facebook and global security and she's wow. been for a long time leading building and doing a great job she is such a kind person she is always happy to help uh, she's always happy to pitch in just to get to the best outcome and she has such a sweet personality her her you know smile and her way with people just adds joy to whatever environment she's in. So Maria, this one's for you. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Maria, for just adding that light to the world. I don't know you, but I appreciate that. Yeah, that's great. Well, Sarah, thank you for jumping in. This is your first post and I can't wait to follow your journey. Thank you, Tim. And thank you for being such a great leader yourself demonstrating these values, living the values, walking the walk, talking the talk. Here we are. This is, this is evidence of that. I do talk a lot. That's <laughs> you know, a problem sometimes, but I do try to walk it as well. So thank you. <laughs> nice. Well, all the best to you in your time in Dubai. And uh, thank you for including me. All right. This is Sarah's first shout out. The Kindness Games out.